Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken today. The hot news today is the president backtracking about the 500,000 new jobs created. Well, oh, it seems that all jobs are not equal when it comes to unemployment figures. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comment on the headlines of today. Okay, and I, I'm going to do now, those are going to get fixed here. I push the trigger on the top so it's moving single shots. I have a tendency to do that when I'm shooting. I, I get you all in. So. I know, but I'm trying to get. It's like they don't need to see your. They don't need to see your knees. I know. So I just do the top. Anyway, then it doesn't make any difference where you're dead. You just zoom in. So. I know, but I like this better. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh God, they're fighting with one another like you would not believe. Oh, the one thing that is absolutely certain: Baynard is on his way out. Because he couldn't get, okay, he may be able to get enough votes in order to give Obama his trillions of dollars in new taxes. Because I think they only have to have like 20 Republicans join over on the other side. Mm -hmm. And the Democrats are all going to unanimously vote to hit everybody up on taxes, except the people that, that are Democrats. I mean, you can bet Warren Buffett's not going to spend billions and that... Uh, Gates is not going to spend billions, and Allen is not going to spend billions. Only Republican businesses, which for the most part all happen to be middle class. Mm. And the Democrat, I mean, I heard this morning, Juan Wood was talking about, he said, he, he said the White House is basically the original gang that couldn't shoot straight, but the Republicans are basically pulling a Hubert Humphrey. They're circling themselves and firing and shooting at one another because... Mm -hmm. They, they, they said they're doing everything they could possibly do wrong. They're not going on the offense. They're playing total defense. And what's going to end up, I know it, and I know it, a lot of other people know it, the Republican Party is going to split into two parties. There's going to be the old Republican Party, which basically is the same people that nominated Romney and are wanting to give the trillions of dollars in taxes, and the new Republican Party, which is the people that want fiscal responsibility. And they will kick all the Republicans out of office. There's no place in this country you'll see a member of the old guard re-elected in 2014. It's just not going to happen. And judge removed in Fort Hood a shooting rampage case. Well, uh, oh, oh, Herbie Daddy says, you know why? What? He's, a, he's an Obama person. Obama, Obama and the Justice Department and it simply continued to say this was a workplace accident, even though the guy is setting Ali Akiba, you know, <laughs> death to the infidels. But it was just a workplace thing. And uh, and this judge is basically, well, he we don't have to, he doesn't have to cut his hair. He can wear his uh, stuff. No, he's a member of the United States military. Military has protocol, which means he comes dressed as a soldier, which he was, and he comes clean shaven, and he basically speaks in English. Mm -hmm. and uh, And he basically... The Obama administration basically felt there was no reason for him to do this because he was, he was the injured party, actually. The people that he killed, well, they actually deserved it, according to the Obama people. They won't say it, but since they're basically treating the people that were... They're not even giving the people that were shot Purple Hearts. And that's and they, and because, well, it was just a workplace incident. It wasn't anything to do with the military. Mm -hmm. And Obama, Republicans must raise rates to create revenue. It, it can't create revenue. He, okay, Obama, okay, the, re, the original agreement on this deficit thing that was agreed to was $3 in spending cuts for every $1 in new taxes. Under Obama's plan, it is $3 in new spending for every $1 in revenue. Mm -hmm. And if they said what, he, what they wanted, then they're absolutely... You know, got the, you know he had, uh, Bonnier's got to give him the blank, Bonnier's got to give him the blank check to basically spend whatever he wants to spend and never have to come to Congress to do it. And um, <laughs> it's just unreal that a guy, well, he's trying to back, he, he's putting some, yesterday they purged 14 conservative members in, in positions of power in the House of Representatives, and the riots are going on. They're wanting the guy to step down now, and he's trying to, <coughs> he's trying to make up for what he did yesterday, which means you figure out what in the world is Obama promised Baynard in order to do what he's doing. I know. Well, those things come back and bite you. He forgets that he throws everybody underneath the bus. Well, no, what you do is that uh, we're going to quote Mark Twain, that when you first make a deal with the devil, you can never close your door to the devil when he comes knocking again. Mm -hmm. And this is... 
the, he's making a deal with the president. Once that deal is made, he'll have to continue to make it. In other words, he will then tell people what Vineyard agreed to, and that will put him in a jail cell probably. Mm -hmm. Well, he, he's the gopher boy for it. <laughs> Yeah. He's a Republican gopher boy for President Obama now. Well, yeah, but, but it was like that. It was, you know, Olympia, Snow, and Susan Collins, and the other woman, basically, and, and Scott Brown. You knew that if you went to them, they just agreed to spend whatever amount of money you wanted. Well, now he just has to go to the Speaker of the House. And then and the Speaker of the House will simply agree to anything. So what does Obama have on him, or what is Obama giving him to cause him to violate all of the principles of the party? I know. Well, apparently, <laughs> I guess he wasn't elected for his state, huh? That's right. Yeah, or, or actually, he no longer represents his state where he was elected. You know what Herbie Daddy said? Herbie Daddy, who's old, and Herbie Daddy says he doesn't have a clue what the word integrity means. Mm -hmm. And California sea smuggling claims a Coast Guard life. Yeah, okay. But what's happening is becoming more and more dangerous to be uh, an officer of the law, no matter where you are, because... The bad guys know that the President of the United States and the Justice Department is not going to do anything if, mm -hmm. you're, if you're not an American citizen. So you can basically, my guess is that a Mexican drug lord could walk into any bank in the city of Los Angeles, kill everybody in the bank, walk out of the bank and the President of the United States and people would say, you can't touch that person because uh, he's, got, you know, he's, a, he's, a, he's an uninvited guest and you're not to arrest uninvited guests in our country anymore. And SEC charges China affiliates of top accounting firms. Yeah, and that's not going to go anywhere. Okay, it, it's going to go as far as uh, they made uh, Breaking Dawn five years ago, which is why everybody looks so young in that movie. And nobody was around. <laughs> they got it released finally. When they released it, they basically removed all reference to the Chinese in the movie. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah. And basically, you think that since the President of the United States basically lives off of Chinese money that they're going to go any further than just making it look good for the people in the Democratic Party that want this come to a halt? Mm -hmm. And Marine Special Operations team members honored. Oh, they said it's very seldom that people that basically don't come out in public get awarded for what they do. Yeah, it's just like this, when they're no longer special operations officers and they're ordinary ordinary people, then they award them for the things they did in the past. I mean, I, I, I know people that my father knew people that were in the Battle of Bulge that basically were, uh, they were OSS operatives, which is oper you know, mm -hmm. and there. They got their awards 30 years later when they were no longer in the industry because then, you know, you basically your past is gone at that time. But this, but it can take a long time, but they eventually get the awards that they deserve. And Costas gun control commentary gets notice. Oh God! Oh yeah, did it ever? Basically, the people on only the really loony gun control people are applauding him for what they. They said he screwed the football game up. They're they're doing this is the Kansas City Chiefs playing in the game, and he's and he he messed up the game the rest of the game. Oh, when the Chiefs did. were playing, okay, the Chiefs were playing above their level of, of abilities that night, and they, you know, they just they triumphed over the other team, and the other team was far superior. And the other team, I mean, like the one of the guy, the quarterback said, he said that they were in my face continually, and our line is bigger than their line. Wow! Because they were playing on adrenaline. Uh, it, it, it's why. His team didn't want to play the game. Their co the owner of the team. Oh, the when that guy had game. done, uh -huh. that, yeah. Because he figured that the Chiefs would be playing on adrenaline, and he didn't want that happening to his team who needed. And that's to what happened. Them. Yeah. Ah, yeah. now we know. And what ha what was the score? I don't even uh, know. They, uh, they 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 got it. They they won it by uh, a touchdown. But the Chiefs scored first on a on like the, basically they. They, uh, I think one of the one of the pickoff people who <laughs> has had a middle season, they basically the team did everything they were supposed to do, and they just didn't break any rules. They just they opened a pass. Did they lane. play for that guy? Huh? Did they play for their teammate? They played for that. Yeah. Yeah. The Kansas City. The Kansas City special teams opened up a hole. They said that you could have actually drove a Humvee through, and they couldn't catch the guy. Mm. And they did. They, they were naked. It was just like the. Uh, years ago, Regis Philbin became famous because Regis Philbin scored a touchdown in the last play of the game that basically gave Notre Dame their first ever national championship. Mm -hmm. He was at the end of Notre Dame had a, th a thing. Everybody plays that's never played plays in the last game. So, God, it's the last play of the game. We're behind this. Put them all in. 
So he, they basically, he, they said he was going to the right, going to the back, reversing fields. They said it was one of the longest touchdown runs ever in time because he, they were just knocking people out of his way. He's just a little guy and he scored the touchdown barely. But that was what happens when you've got adrenaline going for you. you can, a miracle can happen. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, uh, that, this is a different one. But um, sometimes things are meant to be the way they're meant to be, and to change them ruins exactly what was supposed to happen.